Play action. Brown taking a shot downfield, and it is intercepted. That is Grant Haley on the return, weaving his way inside the 20. And a flag is intended for him. Watch the end of this throw. Pretty good protection. The ball sails high, and the intended receiver, Henderson, didn't even reach his arms up. He thought the ball was being thrown to somebody behind him. And an easy interception to start the game for Penn State. Guy who has the very hour. A whole lot of heavy favorites today. Good defensive play. Trying to get it to Flynn Nagel. DJ Moore brought down immediately by Grant. Georgia State. Redshirt senior from Lake Forest, California. Takes a shotgun snap. Rolls right off play action and he gets picked. Intercepted by Grant Hill. He wasn't under any pressure. In fact, he broke contain. You can see right here he throws it right to the defender. Talked about Grant Haley being from Atlanta, where Georgia State is. Penn State just rushing three. Underneath back to Thomas, but he's going to be dragged down. Just like they're blitzing and they dropped off, but that's what you need. That is good defense. When you have one defender inside, one outside, there's no place to go. Those are two great corners, Christian. Rashini over the air on second down. Trying to find David Mitchell for the pass incomplete grant. There was the fumble early in the first half as well. On third down and eight, Alvidi to throw. And some good coverage there. Looking for Ryan. At the 19. JT Barrett fires in the end zone. And Perfect throw from JT Barrett. On this throw, you want to give him a bit of a back shoulder, let him adjust, and out of bounds and bobbling it. Hits a third and nine after the timeout for Pitt. Here's pressure now from Penn State defense, and they're able to get to Max Brown. It was Grant Haley had the intercept. Watch, he's late picking up the blitz. They had everybody accounted for, but he's late getting to Haley, and Haley gets to Max Brown. On first down, Browning. And the pass is caught by Bocelli. Oh, Brandon Smith, nice adjustment. Four-man pressure, Borden Schlager throws incomplete. Haley on the coverage of D.J. Moore. So what happened? They went man Legs, Ryan Buckholtz up top. Here's Thorson from the end zone throwing. And it was behind his intended target. Here comes the pressure. Almost complete. Absolutely. It was 49-10. Oh, Horn flips it downfield, and Perry can't make the play inbounds, driven out by... ...second, the great run with the comebacks, including the Big Ten championship game, the thrilling Rose Bowl, the emergence of these offensive playmakers. ...in this family. They are not all about that, like other families are in a lot of cases, especially with star players. First to goal at the seven-yard line. Rashidio slings it in the pass, juggled and incomplete. Hayek was the intended receiver through. Peterson's just going to lay down and get blown out here. After they were down 28-7, they got a good plan coming out of the locker room. Coleman tripped up nicely by Grant Haley. We're going to need to play better against teams like Michigan, fronts like Ohio State. Jackson just is Jackson taken down. Difference from a year ago is they can be reliant a little bit on this defense. And so far up front. They have talked about bottle up Barkley. They bottle up Justin Jackson. Just, they still just rush there. They bring forth pressure coming. Borton Slogger in trouble when he sacked. Grant Haley came clean right off the edge, Kev. You can see him. He's right down here. He's going to come this way. That is, he's got to be aware of that. He didn't look like he was. He was looking to his left side. He's got to see that. Haley had him both in tackle and flag football.